All right, we're gonna talk a little bit about air creep. It's lightweight. It's about, on average, depending on how you mix the stuff, one block is a, the weight of it's probably about the same size as a house brick, a small brick. Um, so we showed you how you could cut it. Um, you can cut it into any shapes. You could carve into it. You could set blocks any way you want. And so what we're going to talk about now is we're going to talk about the bonding agent. Uh, so what you're going to do is when you make, you create a pump and you're going to run a pump and you're going to make a, uh, a foam gun and you're going to use PVC and you're going to cap it off. And what you're going to do is you're going to take steel wool and you're going to stuff it in the tube and you might want to put chain or something in here and drill a hole um, and once you figure out the distance like a one foot you can cut a one foot piece and stuff this in there and so the concept of the whole thing is you're going to take a water pump you take the water pump that's going to flow your mixture of dish soap i use swab swab is a good soap it's, it makes a nice sturdy brick you're going to take uh, your dish soap and water mixture in a bucket and you're going to run it from here, from this, into your pump. And then from your pump, you're going to put a splitter in it and you're going to run an air line to it. And you want to have roughly about 60, 70 pounds of air pressure. So when you turn on your pump, you turn your pump on and get the liquid flowing through all the way through to this gun. Um, as soon as you got the pump flowing through, you hit turn on the air and you have a combination of air and liquid running through here like a screen, which is going to create bubbles. Now the bubbles got to be roughly like shaving creams. It's got to be the thickness. So when you mix it with the Portland cement, um, it, it'll, it'll trap little air pockets inside uh, and it'll hold the concrete, it'll expand your concrete with the dish soap. So, Basically, you're getting like roughly five, t you're getting about 45 gallons for 100, about 192 pound, depending on which uh, Portland cement you get, 92, roughly a 100 pound bag, you're going to get a 45 gallon drum full of material. Um, so, we've talked about that, talked about the pump. This is the bonding agent that you're going to mix. You're going to mix some of the, the bubble mixture with this and some Portland cement. Now, uh, um, and you're gonna mix it in here and that's when you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna put it on and you're gonna put your, uh, put your joints together on top. So, now we're gonna talk about the, the polyester wrap that's gonna wrap your entire dome. This has got, this strength right here, it's got a 60, 60 pound tensile strength for ripping. Um, it also has a, uh, uh, 176 pound uh, uh, a ball shot. The American Society of Tests and Materials. Um, it's an international organization for technical standards uh, for material pot, uh, products and systems and services. So basically, everything that's rated for building has has got to be tested. So <clears throat> this material, so they use rebar and concrete, but what happens is. Um, it oxidizes, oxidizes and then um, it decays on the inside out and that's why a lot of the bridges and the infrastructure um, because we're using rebar in there it's breaking so if you're gonna when you put your dome together and you put this over the top of it and you glue it with the uh, with the bonding agent and the Portland cement it adheres to it and it makes a strong surface and then you're gonna stucco on the outside of it like I said, this is all new new technologies. Nobody's really got a patent on any of it. Everything is, I mean, they do have some patents on it, but it's up to creating your own avenue. If you want to get out of the debt system, um, you know, you know, you take an average house right now, a um, hundred thousand dollar house in a thirty year loan, you're talking you're going to spend over a quarter million dollars total on a house. So. By, by building the stuff out of this, you're going to build it at cost. You're not going to have a mortgage on it. You're not going to have a, de uh, a debt payment. So it's going to free up better areas of life. And plus, you're not cutting down a bunch of trees. And if you build this out of a dome style, um, if you build it out of a dome style, basically, you're not going to have to throw, you're not going to have to replace a roof every 20 years and spend 10 to 15 to 20 grand, depending on how big your house is, to replace the roof. 
Um, it's just all out of awesome build material. Like I said, uh, this is the new wave of the future. Uh, that's what people are saying, and I'm a believer. Um, I'm an iron worker by trade. Uh, I've been an iron worker for about nine years um, um, in Northwest Indiana, and I built. Uh, I've re I bought a foreclosure and gutted it and redid it. I've spent sixty thousand dollars replacing it and working on wood that rots and everything else. And when I come across this stuff, this is it. You know, it's a one-time deal. I'll be able to pass pass the place down to my kids, and it won't, it'll be maintenance free. Um, at least the uh, the integrity of the outside of the structure um but yeah this is the new wave and it's a real simple concept i mean you're talking the pump only costs about 125 bucks you know you got about 30 dollars worth of pvc um you know you you go buy you can buy, buy this i bought this dish soap at menards for a dollar 88 a, uh this actually one one of these body washes will actually make it's enough to make exactly 45 gallons of material. So you talk about one one bag of Portland cement, one thing of dish soap, um, and once you make the foam and mix it together, then you can get uh, uh, get your blocks. And I will give I'll put on the website more uh, uh, more details as I'm going along as we start getting back into this project. So, all right, I appreciate you.